Hello, I'm Wei Zhai. Today, I'm going to talk about our paper, Deep Structure Review Network for Textual Recognition. As the texture is the fundamental microstructure of natural images and the preactive human visual cue for perceiving natural scene, it serves as a significant mid-level feature representation for a wide variety of applications. Texture refers to spatial organization of a set of basic primitives or textures. Therefore, a textured region usually conforms to some statistical properties exhibiting periodically recurrent textures. Some methods exploit the statistic property and incorporate an orderly component to obtain global compact feature representation. Recently, the methods building upon convolutional neural networks, CNMS, inherits this property and utilize an orderless application of local texture features to achieve state-of-the-art performance on texture recognition. Although the existing texture recognition methods excel at providing invariance to spatial arrangement, they are typically limited in capturing the inherent structure of texture primitives resulting in complete description and inaccurate recognition. Our method is based on the observations that through various textual primitives can be perceived with different spatial contexts, example principal directions. There exists a spatial dependency among these primitives, which is inherent to spatial layout and reveals the inherent structural properties of texture. For example, as shown in this page, multiple primitives can be identified from the same texture image, which will bring interference to texture recognition. However, we can also find that there is inherent spatial dependency among these primitives, which is invariant to spatial transformation and brightness change. It implies that this dependency is robust to the variability in primitive appearance and spatial organizations, and can serve as a structural representation of texture image. The overall architecture of our proposed method is illustrated in this page. Our network consists of two branches, structure revealed branch and the spatial ordered branch. For DSR model, a primitive capturing model PCM is devised to generate the candidate primitives with its principal directional contents, in which deep features are firstly extracted under the constraint of directional map and then encoded by the similarity of neighborhood. And next, these candidates are associated by a dependency learning model DLM to generate the structural representation in which a two-way collaborative relation model is in introduced to perceive the spatial dependencies among candidate primitives. Our proposed deep structure review model is illustrated in this page. This is a PCM for primitives elements in textual images. We need to capture their locally under the guidance of different spatial contexts. Therefore, a new primitive capturing model is devised to generate candidate primitives with provided special context constraints. Here, we merely consider the contests in eight directions, up, down, left, right, left, up, right, upper, left, bottom, and right, bottom. A directional map with the same size as a convolution corner is provided as a local context guidance in the convolution process. The dependency learning model is used to establish the dependency relationship among multiple candidate primitives in the local scope. Furthermore, to capture the correlation between primitives, we propose a two-way collaborative method as shown in this page. To improve the dependency model ability by introducing correlations between the two-way relation. We evaluate our model on five challenge texture material recognition datasets. The results has demonstrated the superiority of the proposed method against the state-of-the-art methods. Furthermore, we also present the testing results of applying our DSR model to fine-grade recognition and semantic segmentation tasks. The experiment results suggest that our proposed DSR net approach is not only an effective solution for texture recognition, but also shows great potential in many visual applications. This page shows the qualitative segmentation results. Differences are highlighted with red boxes. Thank you for listening.